G'day, I'm Ralph Schwartz. Welcome to Geoterics Outdoors Australia. This is, uh, this is my second vlog for 2021 and uh, yeah, wow, already in 2021 we've, uh, we've had some, uh, some pretty crazy things going on. We're in, or past the middle of March, we've got COVID vaccine rollouts on the east coast of Australia. It seems like it's uh, largely underwater, um, part of the Pacific at the moment. As of uh, the last hour, I've just clicked over 222 subscribers. That's not maybe a big deal for some of the big channels who have 222,000 or 22 million, but uh, you all know our goal is to get 2,021 subscribers by the end of 2021, and we're well on our way there. Um, 160 videos uh, that have been released. Some I've taken off the the Geoterix Outdoors Australia channel and put onto the Black Mountain Farm channel. If you haven't seen Black Mountain Farm, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, feel free, I'd love you to have a look there. We're starting the whole cooking videos, gardening, all the stuff that isn't, isn't the core content that we're trying to create for this channel goes there and later in the year I'll be starting another channel where I'll be doing drawing and painting and various things like that. Okay, so 222, 160 videos. Uh, I'm still incredibly grateful for, uh, for every subscriber that I get and I still get excited. Oh, another one. Um, thank you everyone for your subscriptions and I hope that you continue to stick around. It all started with COVID where we started doing the walks of Canberra which we started to re-release because, let's face it, some of those videos were so crap with spelling mistakes, all sorts of production problems. We've, we've started to fix those and we'll re-release them in, uh, in 2021 moving forward. New footage and uh, we'll take the old ones and retire those. So we're striving for a, a much higher quality both in the footage that we shoot and in the post-production in editing um, and all the information that goes in. I'm constantly inspired by other content creators. There's some really fantastic content coming out of uh, even out of Canberra. There's uh, people who have got channels nearby. Look either way, I, I'm inspired by so many of the content creators. It's great to be supported by such a great family and such a great team. I've just released the, the new Geoterics Outdoors Australia channel video which shows some of the people or most of the people who are responsible for bringing you the footage that you see coming out weekly on our channel. It was a fantastic the process of getting everyone on board and they've all introduced themselves. Um, there's a couple of people missing and they've asked not to be mentioned but hey that's okay. So I haven't got a lot to say. I, I sort of, I was gonna bring out a vlog every month and was, you know, thought I'd talk about topical subjects and things like that. But I don't, I just don't feel I have that much to say and I'm not politically orientated one way or the other to make any sort of comments like that. But what I will do in the rest of this vlog is to answer some of the questions that I've been asked by subscribers in the comment section underneath the videos. So the first one is what is Geoterix? Where did Geoterix come from? What's it got to do with anything? So Geoterix is actually the name of a company that I registered many many years ago. It was actually the uh, Geoterix services and what I used to do was uh, provide uh, exploration services, exploration in the form of geophysics and, and uh, compliance, safety, environment and environmental sampling and various other bits and pieces. So initially when I first started YouTube I just had it up as Geoterix because it was just the name that rather than just my own name and kept it as Geoterix and, and uploaded I think one video from uh, a safety job I did in Papua New Guinea. But as we started to make more videos um, around the walks of Canberra, the gear reviews, Geoterix channel just it didn't, no one knew what, the, what it was. So I put the Outdoors Australia 
on the end of that just to give it some context and, and it's been that ever since and it'll continue to be that into the foreseeable future. Okay, another question that's been asked was what what do I mean by exploration? I've mentioned that I've done, you know, my background was exploration. I've had in some of the video comments exploration safety specialist or exploration specialist of some sort. So when I talk about exploration, I talk about resources exploration. Now resources are oil and gas, minerals, coal, uh, diamonds, anything, any sort of mining or, or extractive products. And it's the physical exploration for these, for these resources. Okay, another question I've been asked is, uh, is what's my issue with survival? Look, I don't have any issue with survival. There's some fantastic and very talented people out there who make survival entertaining and instructional. They, they make videos of them surviving the elements. We're talking about Bear Grylls, Ray Mears, Les Stroud, the Baird brothers. Fantastic skills. They have great gear and they do a lot of planning and have sometimes crews supporting them and look that's fantastic it's really doing some uh, some great work and most of them have got disclaimers that without planning equipment and training you don't try this yourself so i don't have a i don't have an issue there if we unpack the whole survival subject three things you need planning equipment and skills what i have a problem with is marketers who are marketing equipment as being survival equipment to, uh, to everyday people who don't have the skills and haven't got any idea how to do the planning and think, oh yeah, I've got a survival knife, I'll be able to survive anything. And sometimes stupidly go out and try to survive stuff and they, they, uh, they don't come back alive. And I'm not being a panic merchant here. In the Blue Mountains alone, 130 people a year either require rescue or uh, get into some sort of trouble. That's just the Blue Mountains. You look at Tasmania and the, the, the wild and high country in Victoria, New South Wales and all the other places, there's hundreds of people a year who get themselves into a survival situation. Not all of them come back. Anyway, there's probably a whole lot of other questions that I could be answering now, but I don't want to make this too long. I, uh, I'll answer them in other videos moving forward, or, or vlogs, or specific videos that I release on specific subjects. Hey, if you've enjoyed this video, please help us get our 2021 subscribers, 2021 subscribers. Please subscribe, please share with your friends, please give us a thumbs up. Love to read the comments, and uh, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.